Welcome back to another Topic Talk. I am back from PAX, and it was a great time. I'm TK Breezy. If you've never been here, what's up? Uh, we talk about things and stuff and things. But today, before we get into all that, obviously, we're going to talk about you hitting that subscribe button and, uh, you know, coming over to the stream at twitch.tv slash TK Breezy and at least hitting the follow button. But it will be nice to hit the subscribe button over here as well. Goes a long way. All right. So, yeah, PAX uh, was actually very fun. Um, it was mostly fun for the homie hangouts, but my work there, I work in PAX Arena. I'm pretty much Mr. PAX Arena at this point in time. Uh, if I can do the game, I do. I, 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 I commentate. So, we did, uh, what do we do here? What do we do here? We did um, Stream Stars, which is Party Animals. And then that was a bunch of physical stuff too. So we did Party Animals, Jenga, Family Feud, and uh, like Pax Pong, which is basically Beer Pong, but it was shaped in an X. Much harder, to be honest. Much harder. Uh, and then after that, it was all Tekken 8. And the Tekken 8 was glorious. I got to work with Steve. Got to work with Rip. Got to work with Vi. And it was just a good time. You know, the finals, uh, I just finished watching the finals, actually, with the chat a second ago. And Fear of Silence, uh, getting the W was unexpected, but also cool. Not to say that he can't get the W, but Shadow was there, and I was expecting Shadow to win. I was expecting him to get, like, second. But no, he got first, got the W, walks away with the clean 3K. I know that man's feeling good. Yes, sir. So, good stuff to him, and uh, great things to PAX. Uh, got to hang out with uh, the girls from GP a lot. Uh, well, my favorites from GP, Maddie and Bell's. Uh, and then uh, Alicia, I didn't get to see uh, Alicia's my dog, but she didn't she didn't go, so I was a little sad. But did get to see Maddie and Bell's, and I got to hang out with them for quite a bit of time. Got to hang out with a lot of my new friend, uh, new and old friends, really. Um, met a lot of cool people, like high up influencers that like I've never talked to before. They actually ended up being super cool, so that was cool. Um, and yeah, just thanks, Pax. That was going. I was wonderful. I don't really have much to say about the uh, outside of I just had a good time at Pax. So all right. Let's talk about what I missed over the weekend, though, while I was gone. Bobby Big Balls is back. Seems like he's back on Twitch, too. And he was in the airport uh, rapping or whatever. And because of this, we got one of the most legendary clips of all time. We got one of the most legendary clips of all time. Now, now like, let me just... Oh, let me swap over to the right thing real quick. Y'all can't see it. Huh? There it is. Legendary clip here. Let me go ahead and... Your girl in the comments, but she never told you. Don't care what you been, uh. Ain't was trying to get to know you. Respect the game, I'll hold my fart until the set is over. How come you ain't get your ass beat with my... How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm streaming <laughs> on Twitch. Oh, you on Twitch? Yeah, I'm just talking with my friends. Okay. My bad. You I... mind, like, pause that real quick and attack you? Yeah. I can pause it real quick. Do I have to pause it? What do you want to talk about? Uh, oh, I just got a flight. Am I making too much noise? No, you were like videotaping all up and down. Oh, my bad. I didn't know I couldn't do that. No, that's, that's not against the law. Okay. But it's suspicious. Okay. Right? Okay. Because it's not normal for people to do that. I'm not normal. I play Falco. I'm a beast. I'm a different type of beast. Are you a <laughs> girl in the comments, but she never told you. <laughs> what a bar, bro. Do that. I'm not normal. I play Falco. I'm a beast. I'm a different type of beast. <laughs> what a bar, bro. <laughs> I'm a beast. I'm a, I'm a different type of beast. That boy, listen. Uh, honestly, it is actually kind of normal for people to be recording because you know if you if you do anything around streamers, you know that somebody's gonna be out there with the camera uh, recording some shit. So this isn't like so out the norm that like, damn, what the hell is this guy? Is this guy surveilling? Like, nah, he's on Twitch, just talking to people. And also, you can't even see anything behind him right now, which is kind of crazy. Like, until this guy pulls up in frame, which is like, <laughs> it's literally whitewashed until this guy pulls up in frame. Like, Show as with my... How are you? <laughs> like, the camera hard adjusted to make sure we got this guy in the frame as well. So, I don't know. It, that was, this. Th there's no reason for him to be pulled up on. Still, funny clip. Thank you for the funny clip, uh, uh, Bobby Big Balls. Anyway, we got another funny clip from Kai Sinat where... Uh, well, I'm just gonna let the clip, clip speak for itself first. Let me just. So, um, I can't do Zoe, so my only option is, um, Tyler, would you like to go on a date with me? Are you asking me for real? Yeah. Don't do that. What you mean? Why not? Don't would you like... do that. I'm serious. Whenever you get some free time, would you like to go on a date with me? You can't do that. On a whole live thing. Why not? It's t it's true for there. Yeah. Um. But we friends, though. 
You're right. Yeah, we friends. You're right. <laughs> All right, uh, next one. Damn. So, um, I can't do Zoe. I don't know how he did. Look, <laughs> I know it's for the content, but I can't be getting. I can't be. I can't be showing Rizla's content, bro. Cause you know these little nerds be talking all that shit, like, <laughs> bro, but sure, <laughs> but. But he's probably gonna make a million dollars off of this specific clip. So, look at a little arm touch. Look at a little arm touch. The little pat is crazy. <laughs> the little pat is crazy. Just, it's it's okay. It's okay. But you know, it's for the content. And if this man, if there ain't one man who ain't uh, for the content, it's definitely him. Like this guy, this is a content machine. You know. And normally I'm like, man, but I can't do it. Hold up. After getting rejected, he uh Tyler Industry and Kai went on IG and went to straight to working out. What is going on here? <laughs> That's wild. Anyway, yeah, man. I don't know. Tyler, Tyler, oh, Kai's not getting all these people cool people to hang out in his house is pretty sick. Like, he's uh he had Nicki Minaj at the house. Now he got Tyler at the house. Like, he didn't had all kind of rappers at the house. Like, it's just the you know, uh fucking offset was at the house multiple times. Like, it's just cool to see uh you know him do all this like again it's not my type of content i don't really watch them but like when i see clips and stuff i'm like damn that's pretty cool it would be nice to hang out with these other celebrities too like to be big enough in the streaming space that celebrities are now like i want to come hang out in your stream that's pretty cool up next we got a 10 year old argentinian just beat magnus carlson in chess and emote it my people thanks for the uh, heads up for last okay that's a chess champion by the way Now, I can't tell you what they're doing, but I just want to see the somebody who's ooh, somebody who's watching. Uh, if you're in the comments below and you see this gameplay, let me let me know. Let me know what kid did. That was clean. Also, he really emailed on your shit. That's the thing, you know, what? that's the thing about uh, games in general, though, man. Age really is starting to become less and less of a factor. Um, in fact, I think sometimes the lack of age for some people make it better because i feel like people who are old and jaded who are seasoned they like are trying to avoid traps all the time they're trying to avoid traps all the time but a fucking young kid will just send it you know what i mean not nothing like fighting games too but like I, I, I feel like it's probably in chess as well so where you're just like oh i've been beat by this before so let me avoid it whole time kids sending something totally different that you're not even thinking about dude ages it yeah like I, I think that the whole like argument of age now when it comes to like how what you can be good at it just depends on what you're good at bro you know what i mean i'm sure that with some more age you learn some more tricks of the trade especially with like uh chess but like being a young chess uh legend sick you know what i mean like kid is doing it up bro uh, and by the time he turns like 18 or whatever he's gonna be like a chess superstar so hell yeah up next we got people asking if m2k is okay i don't know why but this is just what my my editor sent me so let me uh, let me see what they said is Mutual King okay? I've been watching his stream recently, and something is off. For one, he's streaming a lot more these days than I've ever seen before. While that alone is alarming to me, when I joined this stream, he messaged me to use HelloFresh code <laughs> and was very insistent in chat that he needed some referral co uh, codes to use ASAP and was very pushy about it. Beyond that, it might just be confirmation bias, but the way he sits on stream sometimes, uh, he seems to be dozing off or just really out of it. I don't think there's a problem with trying to get money and doing your own diligence, but it's weird to see him becoming super insistent when he has never been this way. I'm mildly worried for him. Is he struggling financially or something, or am I just unfamiliar with how he presents himself on stream? It's the second one. This is definitely the classic Mewtwo King. This guy, when he gets anything that he can make money on by doing, by having a bunch of people do it, he is insistent. I have been DM'd by Mewtwo King multiple times about starting up a Metify, and I finally started up a Metify. And, uh, well... It was cool, I guess. Didn't really get that much uh, traction, but I'm sure he got some money off of that. Uh, actually, I didn't even give him the referral, so no, he didn't get any money off that. But yeah, this is the Mutual King Classic, bro. I have a thing that I need to that I need you to do so that I can get money, so I'm going to say it every 10 minutes. Just like I'm going to tell you, you should sub to the TK Breezy channel. Yep, right in the middle of my fucking video, I'm doing it. Sub to the TK Breezy channel. Subscribe today, here and on Twitch. Uh... If you can't do that because you're broke and you don't like me enough, totally fine. I'm broke. That's why I'm asking for subs. But you can retweet my going live tweets and being here and active in the chat. That's always super nice. Very much appreciate you. Anyway, anyway, 
Yeah, bro. Uh, that's the, that's the Mutual King classic, bro. That's the Mutual King staple. Like we just, you know, like th this is this is him all the time. Now I don't know about all this other stuff about how he's sitting on stream. This is just like people analyzing people for no reason. But Mutual King's also kind of a weird guy, bro. Like just you know maybe he's trying something different on the way that he wants to sit. Maybe you know maybe the old way he sit is not comfortable to him anymore. But yeah, this is definitely the Mutual King. Uh, so damn, he's been streaming for thirty two hours. Damn. Okay, I think. He's definitely farming money right now. And this is like, it's just, you know, you, you still get ad revenue even if the stream's just on. Like, he's farming money. So, uh, hey, man, the ad revenue do be hitting. So, uh, I get it. I would do it myself if I didn't care to not have you guys actually be around when I am streaming. And so I would run reruns myself. You still get ad revenue for it. But nah, like, it's nice to have y'all around when I am streaming. And I feel like if I start running reruns, people would just be like, this channel's just up all the time. What the fuck? This is dumb. So, yeah, I couldn't do it myself, but, uh, but yeah, looks like we got, uh, looks like we got some tech here in Tekken as well, where you can use the screenshot feature to cause lag. So we got Just Relax Kid, uh, that's one of my boys saying, I'm really playing on your downfall and hope you get banned on everything. You're ruining gaming for people and don't deserve a single viewer, you fucking dork. Uh, and, uh, so let me watch the clip real quick. He tried. He tried to get him to drop it. This man's in Bushin and you're doing shit like this? Loser activity. Loser activity. Absolute loser activity, bro. I'm really playing on your downfall. I hope you get banned everything. You ruin gaming for people and don't deserve a single fury. Yeah, that's true. That's fucking, that's fucking facts, bro. Damn. They getting his ass, bro. They are getting his ass. These people are, are at his neck. We got a, a six racking, whatever his name is, uh, shot as well. Yeah, the Tekken uh, land is is uh, is very interesting. I mean, we got some, we obviously got some some issues with the game in general. Uh, but yeah, people doing stuff lame shit like this. Come on, man. Like we already, the internet's already hard enough, and now you're over here trying to force lag on purpose. Like that's fucking lame, dog. You fucking loser ass nigga, bro. I'm saying. All right, bro. Y'all want to talk about some drama real quick? Y'all want to talk about some drama? Cause I got one more, but only if y'all want to hear it. Like it's kind of, it's kind of wild. It is from Pax. It's kind of wild. Only if y'all want to talk about it, man. Otherwise, I'm gonna cut the video. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, just hoot. You never know. You never know. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all what it is, bro. All right, man. So I was at Pax this last weekend, obviously, and uh, we met a lot of cool people, right? Obviously, uh, but. Person I'm talking about now is not somebody that I met here. I actually met them a long time ago at a different event, and they were cool, but they were relatively a flirty, flirty guy. I was like, you know what? Do your thing. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Being flirty, I be flirty sometimes too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it was like a little much. You know what I'm saying? So come to find out, <laughs> this guy's caused a lot of issues. I gotta go find it on my uh, phone real quick because I gotta find the names. Oh, wait, I remember now. Let me find it on my phone real quick. You don't have to call. It's okay. All right. So the first thing that came out, this is like right in the morning. We're all coming. We're all flying back home. You know? Boom. Uh, Jillian Foxglove says, I just found out that Gabe Hicks, that's what we're talking about. Gabe uh, has been lying to me our entire relationship. He told me he was polyamorous and I've been seeing him for months. I was contacted by his now former partner about all of his lies and manipulations. And he's been telling the entire TTRPG community that I'm an, I'm an obsessive fan, that I'm riding the coattails of my partner, uh, the playmat, and that I've made him uncomfortable. People have been saying this won't work with me uh, based on false info and uh, or people are, have been saying they won't work with me based on this false in info. And this is putting me and my partner's livelihood at risk. I feel devastated for both myself, my partner, and his ex. I am nothing but hurt right now. I deserve better. So we got a lot of people actually coming through. Uh, there was a bunch of quote tweets on this. But it ends up being that this is a pattern of behavior. Because not only did she come forward, but the ex came forward and was like, uh, for those who have spoke about my discomfort with uh, Jillian and Pax, I was wrong. And there's a big thread Basically, outlying that over eight months, I was told by Gabe that uh, 
Jillian was an obsessive fan, right? So he's been lying the whole time. The thing is, the thing is, both of them would have been okay with uh, him dating both of them because they're all poly, right? So it's like, why are you going out your way to be a bad guy? You could have had your cake and ate it too, but now you want to be a, 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 a shithead for no reason. It makes no sense. Where two girls are like, yo, we're fucking Polly. You can date both of us. And you're like, nah, bro. I want you. This is why this is the craziest part of the, the fucking story, okay? This weekend, Jillian knew, uh, or he, he, she was like, I'm cool with us being um, Polly. And he was like, I would like to be monogamous just so he could cheat, bro. Just so he could cheat. Like, are you, it, it makes, it makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. But more people came forward. There was a lot of stuff uh, on top of it. He was he was on his clay shit. There was a lot of people that we uh, we saw uh, pull it up too. I know we had, there was one more from I think Maisie. I go through the replies real quick. This is uh this is somebody that um they said they this happened three years ago with them. Same shit. Uh, an ex of Gabe here. I don't like talking publicly, but he fully fucked me over. Don't believe his shit. Apology. He wouldn't give uh. One, if he didn't get caught, man, ghost me after gaslighting me for three years and taking the sake, sock, uh, talking the sake, uh, obsessive crap. I don't know. I think that's probably, oh, the fake obsessive crap behind my back. So another ex, you know, uh, coming through. So yeah, man, it sucks because straight up the, like the dude was very fucking popular. So this is, uh, here we go. Maisie said, I didn't communicate. You know, this is, he called her an obsessive, uh, obsessed slut puppy, which is, uh, why her, she has changed her name. <laughs> But, um, but there's definitely some people that are coming through and being like polyamory is a problem. And I don't think polyamory is a problem because of the fact that if they were polyamorous, right, if they did it the right way, none of this would be a problem. <laughs> but yes, this is the, this is the, this is the crazy part right here. So, uh, a lot of people are now noticing that like those people that do that good guy act of like, oh yeah, like I'm going to do these really, really good things end up being wolves and sheep cl uh, clothings all the time, you know? So he put a video out on uh, TikTok sitting in a tree for some reason. And um, they, you know, people have been blowing that shit up as well. Six people have, have uh, apparently been, have come out and said something about this. So this, yeah, I was called an obsessive puppy and a slut by him. He told me he was single. God fucking damn it. So yeah, uh, I think that, well, this sucks one because like this was someone I actually did consider a friend. And then I learned all this shit uh, like from behind the scenes i don't know too much about the ttrpg but i'm learning that like you know you're kind of a shitty person bro because it seems like there's a lot of saying one thing very nice to girl and face and then immediately going to shit talk that girl behind her back to other people for at seemingly no reason right so he had this like kind of half like fucking pr 101 apology i've heard uh plenty and the problems i cause go deep i need to remove myself from doing more harm and take responsibility right now taking responsibility looks like holding myself and getting therapy which is the PR 101, you do something bad, you say, I'm going to therapy, when in actuality, you should have done therapy the entire time, and you're doing things that are causing other people to go to, th or, like, you're doing things that are going to cause other people to go to therapy. So, like, that look good. And they finally apologized, but this only after a bunch of people called him out and was like, you didn't even say sorry. So, uh, yeah, man, it just doesn't look good for you. It's not, it's, it's not looking good for you, man. But it was crazy. It was crazy because, like, literally that Friday... We saw him acting kind of a little wild in the in the in the lobby, and uh, his friends kind of pulled him to the side. His friends, us, and then we're like, "Yo, bro, you know you move, you be moving kind of wild sometimes." And he was like, "Nah, bro, nah." And then bam, you know, and then bam, like we tell you moving kind of wild on Friday, and by Sunday, it is confirmed that you're moving kind of wild. So, look, man, I've had my moments where I definitely move wild too, but like the self reflection is real. And then those that like you have to learn from those. I've also had those moments when I was way younger. <laughs> like, yeah, you know I mean, I'm 34 now, bro. Them, them all moments are gone. Like, I just gotta, I just be chilling, you know. But yeah, I don't know, man. Like that was just that was the drama. Just wanted to share the drama because I was just, bro, it was that was wild to see. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this topic talk. As uh, Lucas said, yeah, it definitely comes off a little performative looking. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this topic talk. Make sure you hit a like, follow, subscribe here on the TK Breezy channel, so that way you can uh, know when the new videos are coming up, and you can uh, come to the stream as well uh, and hang out with us live. We like the live hangouts as well. So appreciate you, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!